again, cell structures are in both. All of our cells are going to have the cell structures. Only eukaryotes will have the membrane-bound organelles. We're going to look at our structures first. So the cytoplasm. is the fluid that is inside of the cell. Below that, ribosomes. Ribosomes are all these little dots. They are the site of protein synthesis. Cell membrane is a lipid bilayer. So what look like little heads and legs are little lipid molecules. It's going to control what enters and exits the cell. Cell wall is going to be found outside of the cell membrane. It helps provide structure and protection. Animal cells do not do not have a cell wall, but we find that in plants and fungi and bacteria all have cell walls. Our next structure is a flagella. This is a whip-like tail. Found on a cell, especially when we have single-celled organisms, it helps move the cell. In your bodies, there are some cells in your lungs that have flagella on them. That's what helps when you cough to help get rid of dirt particles and things like that in your lungs. Cilia, these are little tiny hairs that cover the cell. So flagella, they usually just have one or maybe two. Cilia are short and all over. They are also used for movement. And so earlier we had the cell wall that wasn't found in animals. When we look at centrioles, this one is unique to animals. We're only going to find it in animal cells. It helps to separate chromosomes during cell division.
centrioles are the last thing in our structure column. Everybody have this. All right, so now we're going to go over to the organelles. These membrane bound organelles are found only in eukaryotes. The most important one is listed first the nucleus. This contains the DNA. It's often referred to as the control center of the cell. When the DNA is inside of the nucleus, we usually refer to it as chromatin. So that's what all these little hairs are, showing that it's full of DNA. Next, we have endoplasmic reticulum. When we were in the computer lab, you looked at two types of endoplasmic reticulum, rough and smooth. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum makes lipids. Rough endoplasmic reticulum makes proteins. The rough has the ribosomes attached to it, so it helps make proteins. Our Golgi apparatus takes the proteins that the rough ER just made and packages them. It prepares those proteins to be sent somewhere else. So if this was a cell in the digestive system, it might be packaging up enzymes, which are a type of protein, to send it to where the food is to be digested. Then we have vacuoles. The vacuoles used for storing water. Vacuole is very large in plants. Animals tend to have a bunch of little ones. This is a picture of a plant cell. They have a very large vacuole. Mitochondria is the site of cellular respiration often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. This is where the cell, whether it's a plant cell or an animal cell, is going to be getting usable energy from. Our next, the chloroplast. This is where photosynthesis occurs. Photosynthesis is what makes glucose and carbohydrates. Chloroplasts are only going to be found in plants. And then the last one these are the lysosomes 
help to digest or break down cell waste, and they control cell death or virtual cell activity, so that sometimes our nickname is the suicide sac. These can contain enzymes that when they rupture will kill the cell when it's old and ready to be dead. Okay, we're now done with our notes. So we're going to move on to our retest. Everything should be off of your desk except for your bubble sheet.